Let's get your Insta360 X3 ready to film and make your first reframed 360 video. In the white box you will find a USB-C cable to charge your X3, a pouch to protect your X3 lenses, a lens cloth to clean your lenses, stickers and documentation. Next, remove all the plastic coverings from the X3. To protect your lenses, place the X3 inside the pouch whenever you are not using it. Alternatively, my preferred way to protect the lenses is to use the X3 lens cap, which is an additional accessory you can buy in the Insta360 store. Next, let's insert the micro SD card. To do this, remove the battery, insert the micro SD card, and put the battery back into the X3. Next, let's fully charge the battery. To do this, open the side door, insert the USB-C cable, insert the other end of the cable into a USB plug, switch on the plug and the X3 indicator will light up red to show it's charging. When the X3 has finished charging, the indicator will turn off. Next, let's update the X3 to the latest firmware. To do this, turn on the X3, open the Insta360 app, agree to the terms, allow all permissions, Go to app, tap yes, connect camera, tap the tick on the X3 and wait for the camera to connect, tap allow, connect, download the new firmware, wait for the firmware to upload and install. Connect to camera and now your X3 is updated to the latest firmware. Next, let's set up the Insta360 app. Go to settings, help button settings and turn this off. Then go to shot on watermark and turn this off as well. Next, let's format the micro SD card on the X3. This will reduce the chance of SD card errors. To do this, swipe down from the top of the screen, go to settings, SD card, and tap format. Next, let's set up the X3 to capture the best video quality possible. Go to video bitrate and make sure it's set to high and set the video sharpness to low or medium to reduce the amount of artifacts in your video. Next, go to 360 video mode and make sure the resolution is set to 5.7K, 30 frames per second and you are now ready to film your first 360 video. Let's make a simple reframed 360 video which looks like this. To film your first video, mount your X3 on a selfie stick and fully extend it. Press record. Hold the selfie stick down by your side and walk forward for around 15 seconds, then stop recording. The next step is to edit the video in the Insta360 app. To do this, turn on the X3 and connect the X3 to the Insta360 app. Tap the video you wish to edit. As long as the X3 stays connected, you can edit your video without having to transfer it to your phone and this will save you plenty of time and storage space on your phone. So to edit your shot, the first thing you're going to do is trim the shot down to fit in an Instagram story. So to do this, tap trim. This shot is 18 seconds long so let's trim it down to 10 seconds. So to do this, move the left marker inwards to trim the start of the video and move the right marker inwards to trim the end of the video. So now the shot is 10 seconds long. Tap the tick to confirm. And now you have a 10 second shot. Next, you need to reframe your 360 video and my personal favorite way to reframe a short 360 video 
it's using viewfinder mode because it feels like you're a cameraman in the moment capturing it instead of keyframes which looks very robotic so to reframe your 360 video using viewfinder mode go to the beginning of your video add a keyframe go to frame and choose the linear field of view and this will start viewfinder mode with the linear field of view to get rid of fisheye distortion then tap viewfinder and I'm going to swipe my finger across the screen to put myself in the center and now I can move my phone around to look around the entire 360 video and this is how you're going to record your camera movements into the video so at the bottom you can see the controls for viewfinder there's a record button in the middle of a slider when you hold down the record button that's when you can start to move around your phone to record the camera movements into the video you can move the record button to the left to zoom in and you can move the record button to the right to zoom out so let's keep this reframing very simple I'm going to start this video off by zooming in to myself hold it there for a second and then slowly pan around in the direction I am walking in so to do this I'm going to hold down the record button slowly slide it to the left to zoom in hold it for a second and then slowly pan around in the direction I am walking in once the shot is recorded tap the tick to confirm go to the beginning of the shot and tap the screen to play it so you can see the slow zoom in hold it there for a second and the slow pan in the direction I am walking in if for whatever reason you are not happy with the reframing you can tap the selection and tap the trash can icon and do it all over again once you're happy with the shot to export your video with the best video quality possible tap export go to custom select the highest resolution the highest bit rate and tap export and when your video finishes exporting it will be saved to your phone album ready to upload onto social media the selfie stick i used in this video is the best 360 150 centimeter aluminium selfie stick and it comes with the best 360 monopod i made this 360 camera stand to reduce the chance of your 360 camera getting blown over too easily i will leave a link to the best 360 monopod in the video description if you want to master your 360 camera quickly then check out my ultimate 360 camera beginners guide the best 360 academy this will give you access to all the courses my help and support on demand and the knowledge is kept up to date downloadable footage is provided so you don't even need a 360 camera to get started i will leave a link to the best 360 academy in the video description where you can get started with a seven day free trial that's it for this video i hope you found it useful hit the like button if you learned something new subscribe for more 360 tutorials and i will see you in the next video